And the winners of the Time Weird Derby in the FA Cup get either Arsenal or Chelsea in the quarterfinal. Hi guys, welcome back to Ted Rebel FM. I am Ed. It is my coconut milk making noise. It is episode 6 of Being Sir Bob in FM18. I'm Newcastle United, obviously, as you can see. And not much has happened since we last met. There's only been two games. We met for the one that we lost to Man U. It was really close. They kind of had one good opportunity and that was it. So I was actually really happy with the way we played. Uh, we then had two tough games in a row. We had Chelsea in the league, where we conceded in the 90th minute to uh, lose 2-1, which was a shame. So Iosa Perez scored in the 17th, Marcus Alonso in the 55th for Chelsea to equalise, and Fabregas in the last minute of the game. Uh, again, I would have said a draw would have been a fair result, but... It could have gone either way and it just didn't go our way. Something that did go our way was this 4-1 smashing of Spurs. But if you look at the time of the goals, they went 1-0 up in the 29th minute. Didn't really create much during the game, but um, I changed the tactics around a bit to chase the game. Oza Perez scored in the 83rd minute and the 89th minute. Lascelles in the 91st and Dwight Gann in the 92nd. It was actually after we went... 2-1 up, I went contain and we looked deadly from there. So it's given me something to think about over the summer because I'm not really much of a defensive coach, but I think I set the team up well to defend and we've still got the pace on the wings and up front. So yeah, so two losses in a row in the league, one win. So that leaves us still in 10th place, which is good. We're still four points behind Huddersfield. We're still 12 points behind Wolves. Uh, Tottenham have escaped a little bit and there's only eight games left of the season so chances are we're not going to be catching Wolves in eighth but if we can get to ninth even tenth is great so Bobby Robson finished was it 13th or 11th I can't remember I'm going to look like an idiot now in his first season in charge I'll double check it later so anywhere above that is fine um, I'd like to think we can do 10th or maybe 9th though oh and just an FYI we are in February late February so it's weird there's only eight games left it feels way too soon but I've just not managed in England for a while probably but Man U have only lost one game drawn two they've got 83 points they're almost at the point where they could have won the title in February I think it's beyond them this year but very early March to secure the title is going to be ridiculous but today we are playing Sunderland in the FA Cup let's forget about the league for now Sunderland are first in League One in this edition they've still got some really good players there which is crazy I have scouted a couple but I don't really want to sign any of them to be completely honest we have given the team a bit of a rotation and it's still a pretty strong side so we've got Freddie Woodman in goal we've got Mankio, Clark, Lejeune and Dummett at the back Hayden and Gruich in the middle, Roberts and Pedraza on the wings, and then Gale and Ben Arthur up front. We also have a few of these youngsters with high potential on the bench and new gens. I guess we'll see how they get on. But I want to get more of a, a Newcastle Academy feel to this game to really like ramp up the time we're tension. So obviously Woodman, Dummett and Roberts all coming through the Academy, I guess. Ben Arthur's been around for a while as well, so fair play to him. We've got Rolando Aarons on the bench too, so yeah, real sort of like Newcastle heavy feel. As much as he came from Bristol before anyone tells me otherwise, I do know that. So here we go. We are playing, like I said, we're playing Southern. We're at St. James's Park. Players that are familiar from their team, so they've got Carl Walker Peters on loan, they've got Brian Oviedo is still there, they've got Jibodji. Uh, who's been around a while, Lamina Kone. I mean, these players in League One is just, it's crazy, isn't it? Valued at 8.25 million in League One. Who's interested in him out of curiosity? Brighton. He could still do a job for a Premier League, so I remember he was like the next big thing. It was crazy. They've got Didier and Dong in the middle with a league catamol, so it's not a surprise they're top of League One. Uh, Wabi Kazri in attacking mid, Ryan Kent on loan, Duncan Watmore, and then Sam Gallagher up front on loan from Southampton. So they're actually not a bad side, and I wonder if I should have chosen a stronger side now. But we've told the lads that we expect to win. I do expect to win from this game, and... Uh, Yes, I mentioned earlier, I'm drinking coconut milk with ice in to, you know, really wet my whistle. It's been really hot, but it has actually rained today. It's crazy. And Pedraza hits the bar from the most ridiculous angle of all time. Yeah, it's rained today and it, it felt so good. And he, I can see the wind is blowing my, my blinds in my kitchen. It's, oh, it's superb. Corner, Pedraza swings it in. Gale knocks it down for Kieran Clark. And Kieran Clark gets the first goal. I mean, as much as their team is quite good, it's quite good for League One. It'll probably get promoted at a championship on this version of the game. Obviously, in FM19, they'll probably get a few downgrades, as they deserve to. But, yeah, on this version, they could they could probably get out of the championship quite easily, I think. So that is half 
time. Um, I'm happy, I suppose. I might look at changes early. Roberts isn't doing particularly well. So Jacob Murphy's just come back from injury, so I'll give him a go. I'm going to give Balasar a go in the middle. Uh, do you actually like being centre mid on attack? And there's lightning, which is great. And my son is kicking everything. I'm going to have to check that in a minute. I mean, I don't know if you heard that. That's superb. I love it so much. I'm going to have to go check on my family. Two seconds. Right, we are back. Uh, my son loves the lightning. And Poppy, the dog, doesn't care. So I've actually decided to not bring on Barla. So I've actually brought on Conte instead in the middle. So I've said I'll cover these youngsters as and when they come on. So Conte, one and a half star current, five star potential. A uh, new gem from Sierra Leone. We bought him from Nims. Nims, how do you pronounce it? He's not fantastic. Uh, if we put him on centre mid attack, which is the wrong one to be playing him in, there's a number of gaps there. The physicals are okay. There's some good mentals. So work rate's great. Teamwork's great. Leadership is. Oh, that's not really anything though, is it? A uh, determination needs some love. So I don't know who's tutoring him at the moment. Ben Arthur's tutoring him, so it should give him some good PPMs. I think his determination was about the same actually as what he started with, but I figured ambitious is better than balanced. And technical is sort of an all-rounder. The only thing I regret doing is spending 600k on him, but he'll be fine. And we will leave the third sub for a bit later on, just in case we get an injury. Free kick for us around 60 minutes. Gale knocks it into the box. It falls for Lejeune. Looked offside, but I'm not going to moan. And we are 2-0 up, and I think I can make this third and final change now. So 20 minutes to go. We've got a free kick. Barbaro gets into the mixer. Pedraza with the header. Um... The two youngsters in the middle so far coping completely adequately. And with four minutes of injury time, which is now about a minute and a half, it looks like the win is secured. Even if Sunderland got a goal now, I think we'd be okay. Uh, it gives me some time to babble about some other issues. So obviously, we've got uh, a number of contracts expiring for players around the world in June because it's brought everyone's contracts forward this database. Just no one seems to be as adept at sorting out contracts. So there's players like. Sorry, we just scored a third goal there. I completely lost concentration. Ben Arthur scores possibly even a header, which is crazy. Um, yeah, like Gianluigi Buffon, his contract's up. I don't know if he's retiring or not. Uh, he's He doesn't want to come to a star, he didn't. Um, Gary Cahill, I'm tempted by. He's a bit old, but perfect professional to bring in. Yeah, Gale, oh, it's, not, it's not a header, it's a volley. But Ben Arthur puts the cherry on top of the cake there for Newcastle. Something I probably didn't mention, now I'm thinking about it. I didn't really cover the transfer window very well at all. We did have uh, another well, couple of outs. So Josley went to Hull for 4 million. But more importantly, DeAndre Yedlin went to Leicester for 13 million. Which, is it 13? Yeah, 13 million, which I think is an absolute farce. I can't believe we got 13 million for him. Really similar in terms of like star ratings at least, to Amati who came in from Leicester. But Amati's younger and stronger and technically better. So I think we've done, we've basically traded DeAndre Edlin for Amati and 10 million pounds, which is, is crazy. So we are back for the Huddersfield game. So it only just occurred to me we are playing Huddersfield and I have decided to do a double uh, episode game episode whatever a double game episode today so we are four points behind so a win would really help us out it'd be important not to lose uh that's probably the most important thing but uh, obviously i want to win i've also just realized that john joe shelby has 10 assists this season i mean he's good but he's just he's just annoying i just don't trust him but the team for the huddersfield game today is rykovic is back in goal we've completely we've more or less completely rotated back rykovic in goal and marty lascelles and bemba and garrido at the back hayden and the pazalic in the middle berisha atsu on the wings Miguel and perez up front so some of the contentious decisions come down to have a garrido a left back i mean 7.4 he's only played eight games in the league but you can't really argue with it <laughs> I mean, we dropped him for Manu and Chelsea, and those are games we lost. Brought him back for Tottenham, we played a 7.7. I think these games, Leicester and Watford, were both wins. Brighton, Southampton, Rotherham, Cardiff, Fulham, Burnley. I think we performed really well in all of those games. So it's like, uh, I think he's just solid, and that's good enough for me. Hayden in the middle is in because Gruwich has picked up a two-week knock just before this game, unfortunately. On the right wing, Richie is almost recovered from an injury, but not quite, so Berisha starts there. And I guess up front, uh, Mitrovic is still injured, so Gale. 
I just realized how bright my webcam is. I've been pointing loads of lights at me, but it's now it's now too bright. Anyway, we are playing Huddersfield. They've got Losal still in goal. Tommy Smith at the back. Congolo, who I think is their record signing still right now. Jonathan Hogg and Aaron Moy in the middle. Ramadan, Sobby, Ben Woodburn and Kachunga in the attacking positions. And then Quayna, Kwana up front. Um, so pretty similar, actually. Just a couple of additions, but nothing too fancy. Uh, I expect to win, to be completely honest. I think... I don't know if it's the AI because of the update or something. Or maybe just because it's mid-season. Generally, teams don't do too much in the first season. But we've refreshed a lot of our squad in January. So Rykovic, Amati, I guess Greedo's new, Pazalic, Berisha, all new players. And then we've got a couple on the bench and a couple out injured. Um, I feel like they've really given us a massive boost, he says, as Aaron Moy lines up a corner. And then we do clear it. To only as far as Woodburn on the edge of the box gives it to Ramadan Sobhi, who's just called Ramadan for some reason there. Moy to Hog to Kachunga into the back of the net. Yeah, as I was saying, we're really good and our squad is way better than the rest of the league. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, uh, I think we've given ourselves a lot more strength in depth that the other teams in our sort of area doesn't like. They don't have. I'm sort of hoping this doesn't come back and bite me in the arse. But we've performed really well since the horrible losing run. Um, I just wish I wasn't using the same formation I use in OS because it feels like a cop out. I didn't copy it or anything though, it sort of just came naturally to me as Quayner puts them 2-0 up. Um, maybe time for a different formation. We're just going to drop to the counter attack, I'm not sure if that's the issue exactly, but uh, they are dominating us for shots and possession and everything. Though we do now have a throw in, Garrido to Ayosa Perez, Atsu, chance to knock it in but there's no one really you can head the ball, which is the only issue we've got right now. And Bemba cleans up though. And hopefully Greedo, yeah, just simple. It's all you want from him. Ayosa Perez plays it through for Pazalic, who lofts over the bar. Throw in to Huddersfield. Aaron Moy now has it in the middle. He's got so much time in there, Aaron Moy, and we might get punished for it. Greedo gets a tackle in, but doesn't quite get the clearance done. Eventually, we should get this away. Berisha does to Dwight Gale. Holds up really well. He's come really deep as well. It's not really Dwight Gale's game, but he's done well with a... Um, it looks like a long clearance will be on now, and it is, and this is where we're lacking anyone who can head, unfortunately, and we haven't closed Moya down fast enough, and here comes Quayna, and Rykovic makes a save, we're going to have to do something at half time, because this is just stupid. Corner again to Huddersfield, put to Woodburn on the edge of the box, I mean it looked good in 2D, how does it look in 3D? So yeah, Aaron Moy gives it to Woodburn, it's a volley. If that's not goal of the season, I don't know what is. That is that is superb technique, but yeah, we're killing ourselves here a bit, aren't we? I'm aggressive. That was terrible. What is the matter with you? Yeah. And Pazalic hasn't done anything. I'm gonna, actually going to take off Pazalic as much as I'm trying to pass the torch, but I'm going to bring on John Joe Shelby. He's playing that centre mid attack role. I'm then going to bring off Berisha and bring on Jacob Murphy, who actually likes playing there a little more though apparently not and then up front mm, no I'm gonna leave that as is for now but I'm just gonna change some of this round we start with the ball clear to John Joe Shelby it gives it to Hayden it's a nice ball out wide to Murphy he was not really I mean he's been injured but he's kind of lost his place a bit there's various other players who play in all the positions he can ends up with Atsu on the left wing he's performed really well this season the cross comes in and that is a, one of the worst on goals you'll ever see Ball will take it. So with it being 3-0 at half time, you don't expect much, but in the 53rd minute, we have a corner and Huddersfield semi-clear it. Murphy picks it up on the right-hand side and it's a terrible pass and maybe Huddersfield will actually clear it and have a chance now. Ben Woodburn gets it down the left side. Um, interesting ball, which Atsu manages to intercept. He pegs it down the left-hand side. Perez is there. Please cut it back. He does. Shelby, how have you put that wide? If I hadn't brought him on as a sub, he'd be off for that. Atsu, free kick. Make me happy, someone. Lascelles is bouncing around everywhere. It's pinball in the box. And Huddersfield get it clear. There are about three or four shots in there, I think. Uh, I'm hoping that was the highlight, and it's not a Huddersfield highlight after all that. But Smith is still coming to Aaron Moy. Ramadan Sobhi and... Pedrag Rykovic, I don't know, steps into Treacle and stops moving. Gives it to Sobhi and, I mean, 
Rykovic has kind of stopped running to get it and decides to dive early, hence why he doesn't get there. Um, probably should have though. Right, as a final change, I'm going to switch around Gale and Perez. Not that Perez likes the advance for roll, but I don't care. And Ben Arfin come on for Gale to be a false nine. Just, I don't know. I mean, the game's gone now, isn't it? So, whatever. Just under 10 minutes to go. I've gone to attacking about on the 17th minute or so and nothing. Not a thing. So, we've been absolutely smashed by Huddersfield. I'm so positive. And... It's just, it's gone wrong, isn't it? I mean, he was surely offside, but they've missed anyway, so hey-ho. So that's full time. We lose 4-1 to Huddersfield, which is um, kind of annoying. We weren't really ever in the game. We didn't throw anything away. We just never even showed up. In other news, Ben Arthur is one appearance away from a contract extension for another year you know what i know he's questionable at best but um i would i'd take him i'd quite i'd quite like to keep him he's gonna be 32 in a couple of weeks he'll be 33 by the end of next season who knows what he's gonna look like but i'd be quite happy to keep him on so the next game i mean the season's almost done i mean i hadn't realized this our first game we took over this cardiff game and we drew one all on the 10th of september since then not one draw I mean we drew against Bournemouth and then lost in the League Cup but I mean look at it look how many games that is without a draw and that's crazy we're very much, we literally win or lose it's crazy um, but I've got a tough couple of games coming up against Arsenal and Man City we'll see how the FA Cup's going I don't know who I've got yet obviously otherwise it'd appear there it's either Arsenal or Liverpool I'm not going to bother showing that game because realistically we're not going to win it if we do win it it means we're in the semi-final and that's more worth showing so you'll either see me again for an fa cup semi-final or probably end of the league maybe double maybe single we'll just see how things are looking but if you've enjoyed that please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel we've got other stuff going on hopefully a couple of experiment things coming soon nothing too serious because i've never tried them before but um yeah we'll see how it goes but thank you very much for watching cheers